Hey everyone, welcome back. So let us quickly understand about locating the elements within Playwright or web elements or locate or basically the objects you can say in the web automation using CSS or XPath selectors. So by default within Playwright, we have understood that there are some built-in locators that you should be preferably using. But in case you are not able to use or you are not able to get or uh, get the attributes that you can use or you can locate the elements using the built-in locators, you can go for CSS or XPath, right? So if you go to this documentation here for the locators within Playwright, they have documented things very well. In uh, the right hand side, you will see all of the key topics here, right? So locating elements and we have understood all about these, right? So now we are on the locating by CSS or XPath. Now, even Playwright guys, they mentioned if it is absolutely must to use a CSS or XPath, you can use page.locator, right? So simply within page.locator, what you can do is if you're using CSS, you just append with CSS and then provide the CSS with an equal to sign. And if you're using XPath, you just um, assign XPath with the keyword XPath in here, okay, and within the quotes. So this is how you are going to use CSS or XPath, right? Now, other very important thing when you are using CSS or XPath is how you are identifying CSS or XPath, how you are writing it. Are you relying completely on the browser dev tools or some of the plugin basically, or you are basically looking for those locators and ensuring that the locators that you are using are robust and not going to fail or not going to break with little changes or they are not brittle right so now now for example what is the bad practice so if you are using css selector like this right so a very long css selector or the x path like this okay these are this is you know like a very bad practice now when you understand how to write css selector and x path and i have already created a complete series of identifying css selector what are different techniques and ways that you can identify better css selectors or the x path then you will be able to understand how you are going to get those x path and css selector and use it as of this video context i won't go into those details because you can anyways learn there are more than an hour video series or tutorials that you can refer to build your XPath and CSS selector locating skills, okay? And in any automation tool, for example, Selenium, a Playwright, or a Cypress, you will find that very common that you will be using those skills. For example, uh, Cypress uses a CSS selectors, right? So CSS selector uh, tutorial series will be helpful there. So now when we say, okay, you have located the, uh, the XPath or the CSS selector, how you can use it, right? So basically we'll go ahead and let me copy a simple test case there, okay? So I'll say, just copy this one and let's locate using the x path okay so this is the one yep that's the one so i'll simply rename it i'll just css and x path locators okay so now here in any application for uh, application for example let's go to the salesforce.com right so i am opening salesforce.com and on that salesforce.com website i want to identify using the css selector or the x path okay so i'll simply go and open and how you are going to basically identify those web elements and then locate them so now on this particular login.salesforce.com say for example i have to type in something in the username and the password and i want to locate these web elements using one with the CSS selector and one with the XPath. Okay, so if I simply right click in the browser tools, you'll see, you'll see that inspect. Okay, and another very good plugin is Selectors Hub, which I'll cover as well. But if I simply go ahead in the browser tool and go inspect, it will give me the code behind it, right? So basically, what exactly uh, the tag is, what is the class, all of that, the ID and everything is there. Now, using this particular information, I can go ahead and write my own XPath. Okay, using the skills or the tutorials if you have followed previously you will be able to do that as of now i'll simply go ahead right click copy and then copy xpath okay let's see how it basically so on this highlighted web element i simply right click click on copy and copied xpath this is simple browser tool i'll say Control f it will open this find and then i'll say paste it okay so this is the xpath you'll see that it has picked up pretty decent it has picked up the id and the username is there for the id right so we can go ahead and use it but we have to make sure that here it is double quotes that is being picked up will change it to single quotes so that we can use double quotes in our code right in our code basically okay so i'll simply copy this 
and then go to the code here and now here in order to identify the web element using the xpath i'll simply say page dot locator right so there is a method locator and then we'll simply put what exactly what type of selector it is it is xpath right so you have to put the xpath okay and then here in the quotes in the single quotes we'll say put double quotes there because we have a single quote in the xpath so we'll say xpath all right and then with the equal to sign we put the xpath in there okay whatever xpath we are trying to locate with now in this locator we are trying to type in something okay so we'll simply say dot and the easiest method is fill which will fill with the text that you are trying to type right so you, you can pass in the value there so i'll simply say okay fill with the string so let me put say for example rcb okay and then the next one next text box which is the password let's identify it using the css selector okay so i'll right click on that particular web element right click inspect and it will open that particular highlighted area okay in the code i'll right click on that copy and then copy selector which is css selector and i if i simply paste the selector here you will see that because there is an id password so in the css selector hash represents the id and you can simply say hash password password and that will identify that particular web element okay now other uh, now this is all the browser tools right i'm not relying on any of the plugin but i'll highly recommend going ahead and installing selectors hub so in the right hand side if you see you once you install selector hub okay you will see that in the right hand side below you'll see you, you can open selectors hub and you will see that it will give you the css selector the xpath all in one go for the web element that you have highlighted right and i have a complete tutorial on specific selector hub xpath and css as well so you can recommend or you can refer to all of that that will be added in the course anyways okay so i can simply go ahead and copy this and you can see that uh, you will be able to get a similar sort of css selector and selectors hub gives a better version of the locators very close to what you will write with your own skills okay so i'll copy that locator uh, which is css selector and i'll say okay i'll write await and then say page dot locator and this time instead of the x path i'll say this is css right so this is a css selector and then equal to sign and i paste the css selector there okay and then i'll say dot fill and let me type in the password i'll say something in the password as well okay and followed by semicolon all right so now i'll save this and let's quickly run this and see that the locating strategy or locator strategy using xpath and css selector works fine okay using this locator method all right so we'll simply click on run in vs code so you'll see it has opened login.salesforce.com and it has typed in rcv and rcv whatever the password was okay so this is basically how you are going to locate the web elements all right within uh, playwright and use them as a use a css selector or the xpath within playwright okay now very important stuff is installing a uh, selectors hub and any of the web element that say for example you want to identify so you go ahead and simply click it on it and you'll see all of the locators so you simply highlight with this particular icon here click on it highlight the web element that uh, you want to identify so if, uh, for example i want to identify login what exactly is the locator for login i click on it and then in the selectors hub if it is open you will see that it, it will give you relative select css selector xpath all other different types of um id name etc everything is available in here okay so this will be a little quick but having said that this tool when you are using any of the tool you need to understand the core concepts of the locator strategies so you can understand whether this tool is suggesting whatever it is suggesting is good enough it is it will be robust and i can use it or there is some dynamic attribute in there i should be going ahead and looking for some other attributes right so that is why knowledge of concepts or basically concept knowledge is important before you go ahead and 100% rely on the tools right so make sure you learn those css selector and xpath series as well before you proceed further with the further videos okay so that's all for this particular video on how to identify the web elements using css selector and xpath and how to use css selector and xpath locators within playwright so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next lecture thank you